Now we're going to deal with two-way radios. This is actually similar, uh, regardless of whether you have a Goldwing or another type of bike. Um, the advantage of setting up your two-way radio is to match the radio that you have to the electronics in the box. To get to the two-way radio screen, we must turn the two-way radio on. Otherwise, its screen is hidden. Now I'm going to hit the source button. I'm going to go to volume. What happens is there are a group of screens in a row here. When we look at the first screen, it's the volume screen. Second screen is the Vox screen. Third screen is the tone screen. Fourth is the balance screen. Fifth is the two-way radio. This can be gotten to in two different ways. We scroll through all the screens, but you don't have to. If you are on the volume screen, you can back up one screen and it will automatically bring you to this. Okay, for a typical gold one, uh, we set up the mic level. We have a low, medium, and high. We set the mic level to high. We set the receive detect to its lowest position. And we'll set the volume for this in approximately the middle. This is the starting position. If you have a gold wing and you're connected, you basically turn your CB on, set it to earphones, and select a volume level of 15 on your volume screen for the CB. Now what we can do is we can lower the CB squelch, okay? And when it gets low enough, you'll hear the noise coming out of the earphones. At this point, you can adjust this volume down or up to make that at a level you would normally hear a voice. And then you run the squelch back up again. So we've set up the Goldwing CB radio. Of course, this requires a special adapter uh, available from Mototel. If we were setting up an FRS radio, the only difference is we would set it to three quarters volume on the radio itself, select the channel, so on and so forth. We would use our push to talk button uh, to talk with it and we would receive. Leave the other two settings would be exactly the same, so therefore it's the same. You'll notice the screen automatically went back to the volume screen. All screens, except for the source screens, return to the volume screen after 30 seconds of inactivity. When you transmit you for the FRS radio, you use RTX button. You will note a little red transmitter shows up in the lower left hand corner of the uh, now playing screen. When you release it, it goes away. When a message is re received, you'll see a little green transmitter. When you're on the gold one, when you press the CB button, its built-in transmit button, you will note on your dashboard that it says TX. When you receive on the gold one, you will note the little green receiver showing that you're receiving a message.